And unlike so many other mass shooters, the El Paso gunman survived this attack. He was taken into custody. Tonight, he's now charged with capital murder. But federal authorities tonight have made it clear more charges could be coming, including hate crimes. They're calling this domestic terrorism based on the gunman's own words posted online. Here's ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas tonight. Tonight, federal authorities are contemplating hate crime and domestic terror charges against the man accused of killing all those innocent people in an El Paso Walmart. We are treating it as a domestic terrorism case. And we're going to do what we do to terrorists in this country, which is deliver swift and certain justice. The FBI suspects the victims were targeted simply because they were Hispanic. Police are increasingly confident that the shooter posted his hate-filled anti-immigrant screed on social media minutes before carrying out the massacre. The killer writes are waging a culture war to stop what he called the Hispanic invasion of Texas. The state charge is capital murder, and so he is eligible for the death penalty. Uh, we will seek the death penalty. His alleged writing saying his weapon of choice, an assault-style rifle, that he studied the most efficient and damaging way to kill people. He wrote that he had been planning the attack at least a month in advance, and that his hate-filled beliefs were in place before President Trump took office. Yes, he was uh, forthcoming with information. Uh, he uh, basically didn't hold anything back. Particular questions were asked, and he responded... Pierre Thomas joined us live tonight from Washington. And Pierre, we also know in the suspect's alleged writings, he, he also said capture would be worse than dying. David, in those writings, he bragged that he expected to fight and die in the attack. But he gave up with no fight. Police say no force was used in his capture. He looked docile, compliant upon arrest, even submissive, David. Pierre Thomas with us live tonight as well. Pierre, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.